Jars. Hugh 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 Jars. I love you, Hugh. Greetings and salutations. This is Hugh Jars. Over the last few days, Ranty has regularly been teasing that he's got something that will give Globus a headache. Last night, he finally dropped it. Let's have a look. All right, so we are simulating an eclipse. We got a laser with pretty wide beam divergence from about 500 feet down that way. Two lasers, actually. And we ran down here to, we got a moon with about, with an earth, about four times the diameter. And we're gonna simulate an eclipse, 100 moon width away from the, uh, the eclipse. Look, you want a shadow, dude, look. Oh, okay, right See that black shadow? I got you, got you. Keep Thank it in the center. Okay. Keep it in the center of the shadow. And start coming away toward me. Here, just record. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I mean, barely a shadow. So to be fair, this isn't Ranty's video. It's done by a guy called Brian Lee, but Ranty is responsible for putting it on his channel. So after watching this, the only conclusion I can come to is that Ranty's trying to demonstrate how not to convince anyone. So here's my guide as to how not to convince someone using this video as a base. How to not convince someone. Number one, make it impossible for people to see what it is that you're showing them. I mean, look at this. What he's trying to do here is show that there is no penumbra from the sun. And yet he's doing it at night. Why not do it in the daytime when the sun's right there? And not only is the sun right there, we can actually see what the hell's going on. Number two, completely misunderstand the point you're trying to make. So this whole experiment just shows that they have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, you can't really deny that there is a penumbra because we just had an annular eclipse, which proves it. Penumbras form when the light source is bigger than the object causing the shadow. In the case of a lunar eclipse, it's the Earth that's forming the shadow, and it's smaller than the Sun. In the case of a solar eclipse, the Moon is forming the shadow, and it's definitely smaller than the Sun. The other bit of misunderstanding is that they use a laser as a light source. A laser isn't the Sun, it's a focus point of light. It's going to be much smaller than whatever object you have, so therefore you're not going to get a penumbra. See how easy it is if you just think? Number three. Don't explain why your experiment is a valid experiment. It's obvious why they don't do that. Because it's not, as I just explained. Number four. Declare that you've actually proved something when you've done nothing of the sort. So basically, no matter what we did, we did not get an umbra, period. I went probably about maybe 150, 200, at least 150, but probably more like 200. Anyway, no umbra, no penumbra, not with a laser beam anyway. It's worth noting that they actually did get an umbra. An umbra is just the shadow, the darkest part of the shadow. They definitely got that. In terms of declaring victory, well, obviously they've got to do that because what they've done hasn't proven anything. And if you don't declare that you've proven it, people might think otherwise from watching your video. So there you have it. How not to make a video. I'm utterly amazed that Ranty still has this up on his channel. You'd think he'd take it down because just from embarrassment, just so appalling as a video. In, as, as a video, let alone as proof of anything. So I'm not the one to just be negative. Let's have a look at how it should be done. Mr. Sensible, your turn. So I start by lining the disc up so you can see it's the same size as the circle. I then move it away, trying to keep the shadow as central over that circle 
as I possibly can. Then we zoom in so we can get a better view of what is produced. Having done that, I just bring the object back to the circle and this is all in one shot, so there's no trickery. If you stare at the circle, your eye should be able to pick up the faint edges of the penumbra just outside the circle. It's only just off-white and extremely difficult to see. There's more to Mr Sensible's video than that. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. He did all the work. Go to his channel for the views. But what you've seen is the equivalent of what Brian should have done. It's been done properly. And the rest of the video takes it to the next level. Something Brian should have done as well. So there you go. Like and subscribe if you like this video and you like what I do. Feel free to make a comment as well. And you can find me on Discord if you want to have more interactions with me. Nothing left to do but cue the corgi. <coughs>